You know, we need to get good direction with your footwork. Uh, we need to walk straight on line. If you drift a couple of boards, that's okay as long as it's a consistent drift, but five, six, seven, eight board drifts, especially if you try to play inside, how can you play left and walk right? You can't stay over to the left because you have a drift in your game. Let's address that issue. Let's address what causes a drift. There's two places where you drift. In the start, you can drift for one reason, and then as you walk to the line, there's a whole other reason which makes you drift either left or right. Coach, let's talk about it. Let's demonstrate now. If you get the ball into the swing early, what's going to happen here is get the ball down too quick. Now his right knee collapsed and went left, and he overlapped. He stepped over top of his left foot. Now he already moved over seven, eight boards with his left foot, with his uh, right foot over top of his left foot. Now let's do it correctly. What we want is two straight lines out of your hips. Now he steps out, pushes the ball out in front of him, and don't get it into the swing too quick. That's a nine-inch ball. If you pull it down, your hips are going to shift, and you're going to walk to the left. That's the first reason. That's the first thing that happens. Now the second thing that happens is the arm swing, and we're going to talk about the thumb and what causes that swing. But watch what happens as you walk to the line. Let's demonstrate, Coach, if you will, when you open that thumb up and your swing comes behind your body. Now he's walking to the line, swing comes in, now he's walking left. We call it washing out. We call that washing out, don't we? The weight of that ball coming back and you open your thumb, your swing comes behind your body and pushes you over to the left. That's because of the thumbs moving and the swings wrapping in behind you. The weight of the ball changes your center of gravity, your balance point, and you just walk with it. It's just nature to do that. Okay, let's do the opposite now. We get the thumb in and the swing out. We get the thumb in, so we come back. Now the thumb's in, the swing's out away from your body. Look how far to the right he walked. So there, if we can keep that thumb quiet and keep it, that helps keep the swing straight. But if you have excessive movement in your footwork, right and left, if you're walking a lot left, means you're pulling your swing in behind you. If you're walking a lot right, it means you're turning that thumb in and getting that swing out away from your ankle way too far, pulling your center of gravity right. In the start, it's because you're down too quick. Get it out, walk two straight lines off of your hip sockets. Right leg stays in front of the right hip, left leg stays in front of the left hip. Walk straight lines, stay good balance with a good pure swing, keep that thumb quiet, and get that footwork straightened out. Straight footwork helps you hit the target better.